guys so in today's installation video we are going to be working on this this is the toyota hilux 2014 to 2020 model reverse camera kit so this is for if you don't have a reverse camera in your vehicle already this will add it to the factory screen so before i jump down into the vehicle i thought i'd show you what's going to be included in the kit so you can ensure you have everything before we start and then i'm going to step you through on our youtube channel exactly how to put it into the vehicle and pull the radio apart so it's quick and easy for you to do so let's jump strump straight into what's actually included in the kit so this is the camera itself it's a little small micro um, hd camera it does have variable options which is guidelines horizontal flip and vertical flip um, you can actually cut these little loops to change the direction of the image so if you were using it as a front camera you could do that and you can turn guidelines on and off now this is a waterproof ip67 dust proof and waterproof camera it does come with waterproof connectors as well you're also going to have this cable here which is going to be your cable that runs from the back of the vehicle plugs into the camera runs to the front now we uniquely designed these specifically for the Toyotas. It has a four pin Toyota plug on it that we actually custom design. You won't need to do any wiring. It's all gonna power through the harness kit that we do provide. So this is gonna come with the RC4 kits, which is 2014 to 2020 model Toyota Hiluxes. This is the radio adapter. It's gonna plug into the back of the radio TPs in to retain speedo information, which a lot of kits out there don't do, but we custom design this to retain the information from the radio on the speedo cluster. We'll show you that in the car shortly. And then the camera plugs directly into here and it comes with a few little extras to help you do the installation. What we have here is split tubing and conduit to help you run the cables on the vehicle. We have stainless steel screws, a bit of double-sided tape to help mount the camera and some cable ties to tie it up as we go but let's just jump down into the vehicle and i'm going to show you what radios this is going to work for and show you how to do the installation all right so the tools we're going to be using today to pull the vehicle apart non-marring pry bars which we always use a little stumpy screwdriver on this one and again the 10 millimeter screwdriver for the socket as well now we're going to get straight into pulling the dash apart there's a couple of little things we need to do we're going to start here we're going to pull this little screw out on the speedo cluster and all you do is just anti-clockwise it really lightly and you're going to pull the center of the screw out so just like that and if you do it carefully you can actually pull the entire scrivet out as you can see here there you go that's the entire scrivet that's the easiest way to do it once you've done that you can actually pull the speedo cluster forward a little bit and that loosens it off ready to pull the rest of the dash out you're then going to take the non-marring pry bar and we're going to pull this top section off. I like to start on the passenger side of the vehicle and just pry it a little bit. So you get your fingers under it without scratching any of the panels and just pull it forward. That will come off, put it on the top of your dash. From there, you can pull the glove box out. It does make it a little bit easier. You just pull on it. There you go. It's a little bit tight, but it just pops out put that on the ground or somewhere where it's not going to get scratched as well from there we are going to pull the speedo cluster oh sorry the climate control cluster out you can this one's got a cb radio but you're going to get that out of the way put your hand under it and pull it forward again it will just sit down really nicely and easily and then underneath there's four bolts there's one on the right here one on the left and then on the top as well there's one in here and one on the left hand side you're just going to use that 10 millimeter socket anti-clockwise just be careful not to drop them into your dash those four bolts are out you're just going to support this on either side and pull it forward and you'll hear a click you can do it from the top and the bottom because there is actually four little clips holding it in once that's done it'll become loose i suggest getting a cloth of some sort or a jumper or a shirt put it underneath the radio on the gear stick here so you can lean it forward without scratching any of your panels one thing on some of the vehicles you will have this seat belt light and what you're gonna have to do is put your hand behind and unclip it and i'll show you in just a sec what it looks like so i've just done it there very easy to do it's just this little plug you're just going to push on top of it and pull it back out and it comes out from the back of the radio very easy to do we're mounting these cameras up guys so this vehicle has the factory oem one but we're just going to demonstrate on this vehicle how you would install it and where you would run it so the cameras are going to come like this they're a very small discrete camera a lot of people actually just mount them behind the number plate like this and actually just undo the number plate, screw it in, mount it there, and they run the cables through this hole or down behind this um, 
paneling here, under and behind the vehicle. You don't want to put it in the middle of this hole because that is where the spare wheel jack is. Do not ob obstruct this hole. The camera cable will get damaged if you do that. So please note also, this has the options for the guidelines on and off. It also has a vertical and horizontal flip. So if you cut those or join them, it will change the image to be horizontal or upside down, depending on which way you want to mount the camera. Because if you have a tray back vehicle, you may wish to mount the camera this way. Okay, once you've run the cables behind the number plate and they come out down the bottom here, you're gonna plug them into the extension cable, which is gonna run from the rear of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle. This is done quite easily. They're waterproof connectors. There is just these little arrows that show you how to connect it. You wanna plug those both in. And then what you're gonna do is take the conduit and you're gonna undo that. And then you're gonna place the conduit over all the cabling that's gonna be on the outside of the vehicle. Much like these factory um, harnesses for the trailer, we're gonna do the same thing. And you're actually gonna run it with the same cable. So you can actually run it along the same area and use the cable ties to tie it up out of the way. So you're gonna run that all the way to the front and we're gonna run it to the passenger side just under the passenger seat, under the passenger seat, and I'm gonna show you where you'll come up into the cabin. Hey guys, so here we are at the passenger side. Just about here on the passenger vehicle, there is a rubber grommet underneath, okay? We're gonna come up through that rubber grommet. So if you come under the dash, look, you're gonna see it right here. Little rubber grommet, you can actually pull on that rubber grommet and it will come out. It's gonna be a little dusty, so just be careful. You can actually see it there. And what you're gonna do is snip a little hole in that and and then you should have run your cables already all along the vehicle. And you're gonna get your cables up and they're gonna push through that little hole you've just snipped like this. And then you can pull all your cables through into the cabin. So we're gonna push that up into the hole now. And then we're gonna return the grommet into that hole so it's nice and neat and waterproof again and it seals, okay? So it's gonna sit back up in there like that with the cables in the cabin, and I'm gonna show you where they come out inside the so vehicle. So here we are inside the vehicle. What you're gonna do is just pull up the tread plate. Very easy to do, so just get that out of the way. And you're gonna lift up this carpet, okay? And underneath this carpet, and these little grommets here, is actually where the plug is gonna be. And you can stick your hand in, and here it is here, and easy to pull out and pull through. Now you're gonna pull that all the way through. Then you can insert it into these lugs here if you want, just to keep it nice and neat. You can go underneath those or through them and you can tie it up into the factory location so it looks nice and genuine. And you're gonna run that all the way through the kick panel up behind to the radio. So now that you've mounted and run the camera from the back of the vehicle to the front, you've pulled the stereo out, we routed the cable up to the center behind the stereo. It's gonna come in like this, which is just a little four pin plug. This is a specific camera that we make for the Toyotas. It is actually a bracket camera with the Toyota plug on it. Now what you're gonna do from there, is you're gonna take this. This is our 24 pin camera adapter. For those of you that don't already have the camera on the vehicle, this is what you're gonna need for anything from 2014 through to 2020. This style radio and the silver ones on the dash are gonna be the same. And this is what the plug's gonna look like. Again, this is quite easy. It's a little T-piece harness and then a four pin plug, which our camera's gonna plug into. So we'll plug that in first. Very easy to do, straightforward. And then this section here is going to plug into the radio. The reason we have these two wires here is to retain the speedo information or the radio information on the speedo cluster for these Hiluxes, okay? So other kits on the market don't do that, ours does. And where you're going to connect it is here, the 24 pin white plug on the back of the radio. There's already going to be a plug here. You're going to unplug that and then plug in the new T-piece harness, okay? And then plug that back into the radio. So if you don't have the reverse camera, that will now allow the reverse camera to work and it will retain the speedo information. Once that's done, you can put the stereo back in the dash and when you put the vehicle in reverse, it will automatically show the reverse camera. On our cameras, guidelines are actually optional. You can turn them on and off at the camera itself. This camera here is actually the factory fitted one, but we're just showing you how to do the installation today and it is gonna look exactly like this but our camera is actually gonna have better night vision because it is a super CMOS camera, which requires only low lux at night. So our camera will be much better, but it will automatically come on in reverse as you put it in reverse. When you are returning the stereo back into its position, make sure it's clipped in all the way 
put your four bolts in. You're gonna put your climate control back in as well. Situate that in nice and neat. You'll hear it click in. So do all that first. There we go. Push it all the way in. You're gonna put your top panel and your glove box in straight away. They simply push in. Very easy to do. Just like that. We're gonna put the top panel in. You're just doing it from the rear. So we're gonna do the driver's side to the passenger side. Clipped in, and here is the tricky part. You need to ensure that you pull this towards the passenger side and clip it in correctly, and then also ensure it's clipped in here on top of the speedo correctly as well. So you're just gonna push it up and in, and there you go. It should sit there, it shouldn't block any of your blinkers. Just ensure that's in nice and neat. And then to get the scrivet back in, you're gonna take the center of the scrivet, this little section here, and you're gonna push it up into the into the hole and then push the center piece in and that is it.